Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and this is another one of my decorating pages on these base pages. It's hashtag base pages PT. It is hosted by Jessica at Paper Terrace, and I am going to go ahead and decorate prompt number two hidden. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here is one of my hidden. I only did two of them. But I had some papers picked out, and it is this right here, this doily. And you can journal in there, write your secrets in there, a hidden journal spot. And this lays flat all on its own, but I do like to put a paper clip on there. So I think we will go ahead and decorate it this page real quick, and then we will make a paper clip for it, which will be very simple and easy. But I have this scrap of paper that I thought would go nicely right here. And also this beautiful castle. But what I want to do to the castle first, since we have some red on the page, I think that it would look nice to use some H mahogany and just get a little bit of red going on. I think the red creeps it up. Do it some Beck style here. Go check out all the other creators. My day to present is day six, which is prompt six, not day six. It's the sixth prompt, but it will be on, it will air and come out on the 20th of July, which is flip. That is the um, prompt that I am presenting. But go check out everyone's makes getting some amazing inspiration and things I've never thought of doing just for a base page. I'm really enjoying it. Go check them all out. So we're going to do this right here. Let's go ahead and tear it out. It's going to strategically tear around. So I don't want it to be too big or too heavy because this is a doily but I think it does help to lay down flat if you do put a couple of layers of paper on the top. Let's get this torn. I like all the edges to be torn. There we go. That is really cute. I like that. I'm gonna save that black piece of paper. Okay, let's see, how do we want? Because that pretty much fills it up, so we just need a small really small piece of this. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and then we'll tear out around it. That will work. Not too fussed about where it's at, just getting it on there. And let's go ahead and tear this. Just pretty close. I just wanted a border. I think we might ink the edges in black. That might show up better. Maybe red. Let's see. Let's just get this torn out real quick here. Not too fussed about it being perfect or anything like that. Just back style. Let's get this a little bit more out of there. There we go. I think that looks nice. Uh, black or red? I'm thinking red, really. Or, wait a minute, let's try this. Hmm, no, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to ink that. I'm going to do something else. I think we need to stamp an image on here. I think that will be cool. Let's get the stamping platform down here. This is in the way. Let's move that up. There, that's better. Okay. Just 
going to use my spider web stamp here. Let's ink it up. There, that's good. I'm going to stand up so I can reach it better. Just want it. And I just <laughs> stamped my hand. That's so funny. Just to look a little bit different. Okay, how is that? That is amazing. I love it. Let's see how that will look right there. I think we will ink these edges right there. Let's just ink those edges up with black. <laughs> I have been spiderwebbed. That is funny. Let's just ink these edges up. There. That looks good. How about just right here at this edge? There. Okay, how is that? That is amazing. I am very happy with that. <laughs> just the little things. So I think, yes, that we will ink the edges up this one in red. I do think the red would work for that. Oh, that looks really, really nice and creepy. I love it. There. I am really happy about that. Just brings the whole page together. So where is this? Right here. So I don't want to put any glue right at this top piece here. Okay. The rest of it can have some glue on it. This looks really cool very pleased with it. There. That looks nice. Now that page looks really good. Close to completed. You can always come back and add some more things. Let me get this so it's not bowed. And make sure that that is not seeping through. So we don't want it to be all glued together. That looks great. That spider web just makes it pop. I like that. And let's see. Do we have anything else that would be nice to just put up top there? You know what? I don't think I'm going to do anything right now. I'm just going to go ahead and make... Let me put this back in here so I won't lose it. Let's go ahead and make a paper clip. Just to put on there. Just to reassure myself that it will stay put. What do we have here? I have some bits and scraps. And I like this. These paper clips. I said they were rose gold, but they look copper colored to me. They're just perfect. When you want, don't want the silver, there's black cloth and ooh, I like this. This is really cool. How about if we do some of the black cloth and then some of this creepy looking stuff. <laughs> That's funny, but I really like it. Okay, this needs to be a little more. We can always trim it off. Always trim it to be shorter. So let's just trim that piece to begin with. We don't need these at the moment. Let's see how we're going to do this. Let me get a hold of it. I'm going to go ahead and just tie it. Wow. 
where's the red piece at? Lost the red piece. There it is. There we go. Just going, well, let's get it a little bit longer on this end. There. Okay, what I'm going to do is pop some glue right there on top of the paper clip. So when I tighten this up, there'll be glue on the paper clip and it and the trims. good now let's put some more glue right here because we're going to tie it one more time I'm going to poke my tweezers through there so I can grab that easily pull it through okay that looks amazing. So we're going to pull it to this end. If you hold on to your paper clip and the knot and then pull this, just kind of tug it a little bit like that, then it will go more in that direction rather than flopping down. Make sure it's tight. I'm going to pop a little bit more glue right there on the top. And that just helps to hold it to go in that direction. Just for a moment, our glitter glue does not take long to dry at all. There. Just so, just to train it to go in the direction I want it to go in. And this will look so pretty. Just right there. Just holding that together. And I'm not fussed at all about the paper clips showing. I love paper clips. That looks so pretty. Let's see how long do we want it to be? Uh, probably about right there. There we go. That is so pretty. Okay, this flip, not flip, this <laughs> hidden journal spot is completed. And you could put it farther up. It doesn't really matter. It's just, just to look pretty. There we go. That looks pretty. I like it. Okay. Go on. And here's the back one. And this was the fold out of a square. Fold out like that. And it doesn't lay flat. So that's why we will put a paper clip on it also. But I made this in another video. And I didn't use it. But I think it's so cute. But I don't like the word rejected on it. That's not going to go in this journal. So we need to ink these edges up a bit. Mm, how about black? Just don't want the white edges showing. And I'm going to ink up this a bit so it looks more grungy. I am going to glue this down so I'm not fussed about the back of it. That, that's going to look cute on there. I like that. Do we want something else behind there? Let's the, see if we would like to have. No, definitely not. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> definitely not. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, we're going to do this. Let's just snip off a bit of this. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this down just so it has a chance to adhere and dry. It'll dry pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and get this popped on here. That looks so cool. There, that looks great. So this rejected tag, I'm thinking about putting a bat on there just to cover that rejected up because I'm really not too keen on that rejected being on there. <laughs> That's cute right there. Probably down there. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this on. 
And these are pretty simple things. I'm just using scraps and a few little other bits and bobs. You can really come up with some cute things. Just I kind of want that to hang out the side. I think that's really cute like that. And let's cover up that word rejected. Don't want that in. Don't want to be reading that every time you open your journal. Rejected. No, let's not do that. Let's be positive. <laughs> but that is, that's cute. That's really cute right there. Just put that bat right there and takes care of that. I think that is just special. And I've already made this little paper clip with little fancy lace on there. And this will lay flatter also when it has something heavier on it. But I think that just looks really cute. Just a little scrap and a little tag. And a bat. I'm just going to pop this on here for just a second so you can see what it looks like. But I'll take it back off because it's not completely dry. But that is really cute. I like that. Then you have a hidden journal spot there. Take this off without, there we go. This will go on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. But that turned out nicely. That's cute. Okay, that one. And then our other hidden journal spot right here. We made a little fancy paper clip thing to go on the edge of that. So I think those turned out nicely. And this is, let me turn it this way because that's still drying. This is for hashtag base pages PT hosted by Jessica Paper Terrace. And this is just decorating the second prompt, which is hidden. And go check everybody out. Lots of inspiration. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.